here to make you work. Try and keep up. Oh. Oh. Pretty good for a dog.
Now's our chance! Let's take care of him quick! A flickering blaze burn! Huh? That booty blastia of yours.
So it looks like the Blood Alliance. Isn't here after all. Those guys are the hunting blades. Th that man. We saw him in Dadon Hold. Ah, now that you mention it, we did see him. So he's the leader of your guild then. He's gonna fight that monster all by himself? What? No way, man! He took it out in one hit? That was a fatal strike! A fatal strike? It's a crazy powerful technique that extremely skilled swordsmen can use. Huh, so how do you do it? How do you do it? How should I know? Fatal strike. A strong attack which throws your opponent off balance. Followed by a single well-timed strike to finish the enemy. Is that something else you read in a book? Y yes it is. I see. It sounds like it's easier said than done. You really want to get back into your guild, don't you? What makes you say that? Oh. Carol, are you going to go back to that guild? I won't go back. I'm sick and tired of monster hunting. Won't go back or can't go back? It sounded like you were fired. No way! I'd been planning on leaving for a while. Uh, is that so? Well, no matter then. So, uh, let's get going. Well, I'm glad you're staying with us, Carol. Anyway, what do you think they're doing with such a large contingent? Yeah. To take out that monster we saw, one person would have been enough. This is actually the first time I've ever seen this many guild members gathered in one place. Really? Yeah, a lot of the members are loners. They tend not to travel in groups. And the chief being here is out of the ordinary too. Curiouser and curiouser. You wanna follow them and see what they're up to? Nah, uh, that sounds interesting, but I'm gonna keep going. He's looking for members of the Blood Alliance after all. Right, Yuri? Yeah, I don't want to worry about two guilds. One is more than enough. I won't lose! More of a pain. I think I'll try to do that thing. That thing? That fatal strike thing. You can't just imitate what you saw and hope it'll work. Hey, I won't know if I can until I try. How did it go again? Uh, uh, first, you go and attack the enemy to throw it off balance. Alrighty. Alrighty? Ah! As a wrench! I see it. Huh? See what? I see my opening to attack. Go finish! You're done! Yuri, that was amazing! Nah, I was just copying what I saw. I didn't think it was the sort of thing you can just copy like that. Well, you need a little skill, but it's not really that hard. You think you could do it while watching me? No way! It takes a skilled swordsman to do something like that! I know that. But Carol, you're not as bad as you make yourself out to be. I'm... I'm not? You too, Estelle. R really? Alright, let's go. Ha! 
That was fun. Yuri, you're awesome! from the late Elechasm civilization. It must be a very old town. You seem to know a lot about these things. 
As always... It's such a shame they just let this city fall apart like this. Do you really think we're in any position to be sightseeing around this moldy old city? We do have things we need to be doing. Then shouldn't we be focusing on them instead of this little tour? Oh, wow! That round roof is using the Leon method first developed by Emperor Heliorus IV. But I guess we should do something about that first. Yeah. Estelle looks as interested in cities as always. Estelle, come on, let's stick together. I'm fine. The buildings are run down, it's overgrown, and this place is seriously built like a maze. With all these obstacles in the way, it's pretty tough to go where you want to go. Huh? Estelle! Sorry, I got sidetracked. I thought I just said to stick together. You all need to be more careful. I've never seen anyone get lost so easily. of yours. It's pretty
ring. That's nice, but I can do so much more. of yours. It's pretty. I just keep getting stronger. Could you be any weaker? Don't get cocky!
doesn't seem fair. I'll blow you away! Could you be any more of a pain? Just getting warmed up. Trip you up. 
I didn't have a chance to ask you this, but... You mean me? Why didn't you return to the capital when we were in Torum Harbor? Why? Oh yeah! Stull wanted to tell Flynn that he's being hunted, right? Yeah, at that point your journey should have ended. Well, uh... You see... Hey, by the way, who was hunting Flynn down anyway? Uh... I'm not quite sure. Wasn't it Rego? Huh? That villain? Yoda was on Rego's ship, and Yoda's the Imperial Prince. Yeah, so... I'm saying that I think Flynn's true mission was to find Yoda. Though I don't know why things would end up that way between big shots from the same Empire. I'm sorry. I don't know either. Well, that's okay. But what about you? Are you sure you don't want to go back? Well... I kind of just went with the flow and came along from Torum Harbor. But I think maybe I wanted to keep traveling with everyone a bit longer, so, uh... Besides, we still haven't gotten the Blastia Corps back yet. That's true, but isn't that my business? Can't I help out? Mm, yeah, sure. Feel free to come along. Thank you.
Could you be any weaker? Don't let him trip you up. This? No. I feel power. sudden even someone as dense as you can feel it who are you calling wait does that mean you can feel it too Ugh, what a feeling yuri estelle too i'm fine don't overexert yourself we can rest here and have a look around seriously what's going on ever since we got here if a monster attacked us right now, I don't think I'd be up to it. Saying stuff like that is the best way to attract monsters, you know. <sighs> Yuri! If you're gonna keel over, couldn't you do it in the middle of a crowded city street? I can't be expected to be there to catch you every time. Yes, thank you. I'm still doing okay. This is air. What? I thought air couldn't be seen with the naked eye. If it's dense enough, it can be. 
Estelle, weren't you saying something about that earlier? That dense air is bad for the body. Yes. High density air can occasionally have very negative effects on the human body. It made you pass out in the Koi Woods, too. Really? Wow. Maybe we should get out of here. But we still haven't made sure if the mercenaries are here or not. I guess that's true, but... Let's keep moving. It looks like this Blastia is linked to the door. How do we open it? It seems that we have to carefully put together the symbols to form the right phrase. Wouldn't it be faster to break in? That's not a good idea. What if it makes the door stop working? Hey, something's coming out of it. So, should we just put some letters in here? Hey, didn't we pick up some odd pieces of paper? Actually, come to think of it, could this be a clue to the passcode? Seems we need to use our mind to get an answer. Let's look at the paper again.
Water is floating? It looks like that Blastia is causing it. 
And probably this strange feeling as well. Huh. He's similar to the ones at Emid Hill in Capua Noor. Is it broken? When a Blastia breaks, it loses its ability to take in air. There's no way it would get like this. So, what's going on? I don't know. What could he be trying to do? W was that a monster? Take it easy, you're not feeling well. And there aren't any doctors around here. Huh? But... but I... Ah! The barrier's gonna fail. Don't worry, that's a reverse barrier. Reverse barrier? It's a powerful barrier for holding monsters. He won't get out of there anytime soon. But the air here... this isn't normal. I got a bad feeling about this. It's starting to disappear! Rita! Calm down, I'll have it fixed in no time. So who are the numbskulls that decided to go and ignore our friendly warning? Sorry. None of us here are nice enough to take your friendly warning seriously. Huh. <laughs> you don't say. Well, now... If it isn't that runt Carol who got his sorry butt cut from the team! The air must be affecting him. It looks pretty thick over there. That's just what we want. You all just sit tight and behave yourselves. We're only interested in taking out this big brute. You sure talk big. Taking care of a pet is a big responsibility, you know. Don't go abandoning him for someone else to take care of. Again. Whew. Hey, I feel better. The, the barrier's down. Of course, that dragon freak broke the blastia. You're dead, freak. Dead. Yeah, that's it. Show me some anger. Show me what a monster's like. Now I'm gonna mop the floor with you. Huh? Looks like he wants the first piece of action, Clint. Well, come and get some then! Our balance. I've never seen anything like it before. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! I guess we gotta take care of someone else's pet. Oh, I'm 
monster was huge. Hey, what's with the kid? Oh, oh I feel so powerful. Hmm. Okay, sure. We made it. What about Carol? There ain't a monster alive that wasn't born to be my punching bag! Master, it's too dangerous! This monster's mine, even if it costs me my life! It's not gonna hold! Chief, we have to withdraw! We can't afford to stay here now that the Mark has escaped! Damn. Hadn't seen a monster like that in a while. What a letdown. Alright, pull out! We should leave, too. It's not fair! I wanted to beat the hell out of that freak, too! Wait, where did Carol go? If he isn't out here, he probably left before us. We'll look for him as we go. Something comes up, and it's just poof! You're gone! Always, always running away by yourself! It's not like that! Not like what? Like I said back in Halur! I'm not talking about Halur! If you're not ashamed of anything, then shouldn't you hurry back to your friends? It's just that... No need to explain to me. I think you've got other people who'll listen to you. Huh? Guys! Carol, I'm so glad you're safe. Where the hell did you go? We were really in a jam back there. I'm... I'm sorry. Hey, at least you made it out in one piece. I'm leaving. Wait! You think long and hard about what you've done. That's all I have to say to you. Hey, cut it out! Let's get going, Carol. We're all tired. Yuri... Man, we were way off. The Blood Alliance was nowhere to be seen. No kidding. We'll have to take any information that guy gives us with a grain of salt. Guy? You don't mean... Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna roast that deadbeat the moment I see him! Let's... let's take it easy on the way back. It's not like I... Hey, you're gonna get left behind. I'm coming!
So air is more than just a handy substance for making Blastio work, huh? Oh, the questions amateurs ask, I swear. Air affects everything in the world. Our own bodies, the growth of living organisms, even the weather. So the Blastia in Rago's palace that controlled the weather was interfering with the air? Correct. So then, that means the air here is interfering with the processes in our bodies. I mean, I can handle it, but is it really a good idea for us to be in air this dense? We shouldn't stay here too long, especially runts like you who are still growing. The younger you are, the more of an effect the air will have. Huh, guess that makes sense. So I finally found you. That's far enough. You lackeys must have had a lot of time on your hands if you crossed the ocean just to see us. <laughs> You're in no position to talk down to the likes of me. Now, princess, right this way. Huh? What does he mean, princess? The princess standing right here in front of us. Y Yuri, but how did you... What? Estelle's a princess? I suspected as much myself. Rita, you too? Wait, you've got to be kidding! And what will happen to my friends? Why, they'll be drawn and quartered for abducting a member of the royal family, of course. Please, wait! I wasn't abduct- Ah, oh, what a mouthy young lady you are. This way, please. Estelle! Now die like the flies you are. Arrest the culprit Yuri Lol and his accomplices! You! The Swan Brigade! Just a minute. This prize catch is mine. I won't let you take him from me that easily. Catch? Our duties are not to be carried out in the fashion of a hunt. <laughs> did I not also hear someone mention dying earlier? You did. What is wrong with condemning criminals to their deaths? Should not criminals be captured and judged in accordance with the laws? <laughs> I suppose I can let you have these little worms. If it isn't Schwan, it's Flynn. These upstart commoners are so full of themselves. Even that commandant. This way, please, your highness. Do watch your step. Um, but I... Yes, right this way. Arrest them! In the name of Captain Schwan! Okay, Yuri Lowell gang. It's curtains for you, I say. What do you mean, gang? H hey! Get your hands off me! Do you know who I am? But I haven't done anything! Don't hurt them! I beg you! Estelle. Don't worry. Yuri! Just start walking. Walk, I say. Ow! Hey, watch it with the pulling. Sir Schwan, we shall take these undesirables to Heliord. All members, fall out!
Continuing on, we will review the particulars of your 18th crime. Please do. Is it true that you threw a knight sent to collect the taxes into the river? Wow, I'd forgotten about that. Was that you, Tweedalee? That's right! I was in bed with a cold for three whole days thanks to you. How many more of these are there? This is getting pretty boring. I wonder what'll happen to me. So I'll write you have no signs of remorse in the report then. Where's that do-nothing captain of yours anyway? What was his name, Schwan? Playing hooky because he's the big shot. You dare mock our captain. Sir Schwan is a legendary hero and a veteran of the Great War 10 years ago. So basically, his eminence would never stoop so low as to deal with nobodies like us. Quiet, I say. Quiet! Getting on to your next offense. Your Excellency, Commandant Alexei, to what do we owe this pleasure? Alexei? What? All your crimes are hereby pardoned by the good graces of their highnesses Esteles and Yoder. What? But these foul criminals have disturbed the peace of the Empire! The Imperial Knights thank you for rescuing Prince Yoder and protecting Princess Esteles. Please, take this. We've got no need for this. It's not like we did those things for the sake of the Knights. I see. What about Estelle? She has just given her consent to be returned to the Imperial Capital. What? Well, I guess she is a princess after all. The princess is waiting at the inn. We would be pleased if you made an appearance. I was so surprised to find out that Estelle was a princess. I had a feeling. She knew Flynn, and she was obviously brought up as a noble. Shut up. You knew already. Maybe. Oh, man. I wonder if I was rude to her without realizing it. Your language has been unpardonable. Captain Carroll, the sentence for insulting royalty is... decapitation. Been nice knowing you. What about you? You're way more rude than I am. Guess it's off with both our heads, then. What? Th that's... Idiots. So Estelle's going back home, huh? You don't have a problem with this, Yuri? It's not my decision to make. Well, I guess that's true, but... More importantly, where are we? This is the city of Heliord. Geographically speaking, it's located between Torum Harbor and the city of Dondrest. It was only just recently built. It's still a very new town. If you follow this road to the east, you'll hit Kerbakram, where we were earlier. Cut through the west, and go to the northwest to reach Dongrest. I see. Well, maybe I'll have a look around the town a bit. I've got my own business to attend to. Hmm, what to do?
Ah, so both of you are here the whole time. Yuri, watch your speech in front of His Royal Highness. You could at least show due courtesy to the gracious partner of your crimes. It's okay, Flynn. Miss Esteliz and I acted of our own volition. You've already heard about Lady Esteliz, then, I see. Yeah, I heard. Yuri, I thought that traveling with you would be to Her Highness's own benefit, but... The royal family can't be allowed to romp all over the countryside without restraint. That's not very convincing coming from you. <laughs> I apologize. But now especially, it's undesirable for the royal family's concerns to be brought into the public eye. Concerns? You mean whether you or the princess is next in line for the Imperial Throne? Correct. There are currently two opinions. That of the Imperial Knights, and that of the Council. Your Highness! There's no use hiding any details from him when he already knows so much. The Imperial Knights are backing my own ascension to the throne. Meanwhile, Miss Estelise has the support of the Council. She's a princess after all. Yes. Her relation may be a distant one, but she's unmistakably of royal blood. That's gotta be tough for the Knights, too. Even if she's the rival of their candidate for the throne, it's not like they can just stop protecting the princess, is it? Yuri, this matter is... I don't know anyone odd enough to be interested in information like this. Well, I'm gonna go drop by Esteliz's place, and then I'm gonna take a load off at the inn. Thanks for the chat. Tweedlebee. Don't call us that! Something I can help you two with? Even if you have a direct pardon from His Highness Yoder, I say that does not change the fact that you committed crimes against the Empire! As members of the Imperial Knights, our honor will not allow us to simply let that slide. Yuri Lowell, you will battle with us here, I say, fair and square! If you beat us, we'll recognize you as innocent of your crimes. Don't make claims you can't back up. Since when did you two have the authority to forgive people their crimes? Regardless, we must battle. Battle! If that's what it takes to make you happy, I guess I can humor you. Excellent! Come with us! Ultimate fighting technique! The burst art! Again, you're claiming regular techniques as your own. That doesn't belong to the knights. I say be quiet! The burst art, huh? I've heard of it before, but. You don't know how it's done? You fool! I say we shall show you! But before that happens, you'll be reduced to no more than a worthless caterpillar crawling on the ground! Rah! I say... Rah! Maybe it has something to do with Overlimit. Go! Show him how it's done, Atacor! I say watch me now! The arcane art of the Imperial Knights! It didn't hit him! What are you doing? Huh. Burst arts can be linked from an arcane art. 
I wonder if I could imitate that. <laughs> There's no way an amateur could do something like that, I say. And now, over limit. I'll blow you away! Mara, be careful! Yuri Lowell's going to attack! Arcane Art, take this! You're dead! Divine Wolf! That's enough for today! First Art! I say, what a terrible turn of events! I say... Just getting warmed up. Man, nothing like some good exercise before turning in for the night. I guess I'll hurry back to the inn.
I thought you went to see Esteliz. She seems to be asleep already. We could still talk tomorrow. Right. Why don't we all return to our rooms then? <coughs> What's the matter, Repeat? Do you guys hear a strange sound? Now that you mention it, yeah. Oh, I've been hearing that the Barrier Blasty has been acting up lately. Hey, hold your horses. I can't. Commandant Alexei is there, isn't he? He should be able to take care of it. Rita, if we let you go out on your own, it'll be just another repeat of a Meat Hill. Well, if you want, we could at least let Flynn know about it. It's been a while since the Imperial Knights have interrogated me. Forgot how tiring it was. Even the Princess and His Highness Yoder got involved. <coughs> and two captains and the Commandant. And with Flynn here too, they're leaving the capital totally defenseless. Pretty sloppy work.
back yet! No, I haven't. It'll be some time before the Imperial Knights are able to move out, after all. Oh, by the way, Flynn. Yes, milady. Is it okay if I stay with Yuri and his friends until I go back to the capital? I understand. Only until you return, though. Yes. I won't cause you any more trouble, Flynn. What do you think that scary monster we saw in Kir Bakram was? That beast was way tougher than anything I've ever seen before. If it didn't run away when it did, we'd have been in a world of hurt. That's a surprisingly cautious opinion coming from you. Not that I disagree when it comes to a monster like that. Do you think it was the hunting blades who trapped it in a reverse barrier? Yeah, probably. It looked like they came to take that monster down. And whatever the case, I don't want to meet up with a monster like that again. The barrier Blastia has been making some odd noises. Do you think it's okay? You came all the way here because you were worried about that? As always, Yuri, you can't leave well enough alone if you see anything amiss. Hey, it's not me. She was the one that... It's obvious that something's not right with that Blastia. Let me have a look at it. This Blastia is currently in a state of repair. I'm sorry, but I cannot allow you to examine it. Why? What was that vibration? Don't tell me that was the Blastia. Maybe something's happened to the Blastia. Let's get out of here. Your Highness, you must stay here. crazy it's okay I'll just readjust the volume of air you'll be just like new it's too dangerous you've got to get out of here lead the civilians out of the city as well as the princess and the others yes sir the air is completely out of control there's no telling what it will do no the flow of air has outstripped his capacity! At this rate, it'll either swallow the city or even explode! Uh, explode? Did you hear that? Everybody get out of here! Hurry! Frida! Princess! Your Highness! What is she? Rita, I'm here! Estelise! Commandant? There, got it! <gasps> Rita, hang on! Please, get a room ready for Rita. Do you even hear what you're saying? You're just as worn out as she is. Prepare rooms at once. I'll take her there myself. Carol, can you stand? Y yeah. Come on, we're going to. Come in. You 
You can't keep using your healing arts on her forever, Estelise. Come on, let's let her rest for now. Yes. I can't believe she had to go and do something like that. Yes. Once Rita chooses to do something, she won't listen to anyone else. You're one to talk. You were just as bad as she was. I'm sorry. I'm gonna stay here. You should go rest. Aren't you tired from using your healing arts so much? I'm jealous of Rita. She has something she cares about so much. And so can you, if you spend enough time looking for it. But you need to go and get some sleep now. No, I'm fine. Yuri, you should get some sleep yourself. Flynn will get mad at me if you pass out. So let him get mad at you. Look, don't come asking me to take your place when you collapse from exhaustion. I can't ask you to take my place if I've already collapsed, can I? You must think I'm totally useless. After what happened when you first met me, and at Kerr Bakram, and today. I think everyone freaked out today. Even the Great Commandant was pretty in over his head. There are lots of things even grown-ups can't do. Even you, Yuri? Yeah, I guess so. It's a tough world. Now you got the idea. Hey, Yuri? Hmm? Do you think you'd want to maybe start a guild with me? A guild, huh? Yeah, that's an idea. I'll think about it. Really? What, you're surprised? I thought you'd say, no way! I've been in enough messes already! Or something. Not all adults think like that, you know. Anyway, it's late. Let's get some rest and see how she's doing in the morning. Come in. Glad to see you're awake. And after I told her over and over to call me before she collapses. You didn't think she'd really listen to you, did you? <sighs> she looks happy. Hey, so what do you think Estelise thinks of me? Why are you making that face? I just didn't think you were the kind of person who cared what other people thought. Forget it. You can go now. Compared to those formulas of yours, she should be easy to figure out. Huh? Huh? Rita! You're awake! 
But be careful. It's just when you think you've recovered that you're in the most danger. It's all right. I'm fine. Also, you don't need to pretend to be using that Blastia anymore. I... What do you mean? It's pretty cool that you can use healing arts without a Blastia. But... but how did you... What the... Hey, it's that dragon freak! Rita, are you all right? Don't you ever learn? It sounds like the sky is falling in here! What's going on? Huh? Ah! What was that thing? Just when the conversation was getting interesting. That's enough talk about Estelle's healing arts for now. Fine by me. I've pretty much figured it out anyway. Don't look at me like that. Do I really look like that much of a bad guy to you? Yes. <laughs> hey, wait! What's going on, you guys? Come on, tell me! Well, take care on the way back to the capital. Okay. Do you have everything? Wouldn't want to have to come back later. If I forget anything, you'll bring it to me. Won't you, Yuri? <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, let's go find Flynn. I'll take you that far. Uh, um, what are you all gonna do after this? Hmm, well, we did lose track of the Blood Alliance. That's easy! We can just go to Dongrest! Or not. Man, if I go back there now, they'll all just laugh at me. Dongrest? That's the Guild City, right? Yeah. I thought we could find out about the Blood Alliance there. What direction is it from here? Well, it's to the west, I guess, but... Let's check it out then. Might be helpful for anybody thinking you're starting a guild, too. Huh? For starting a guild? Well, let's go then! <laughs> 